the walk around of our biggest prize pack yet, the gear that is going to change someone's life. Yeah, yeah. I hear I'm chat to the noise, move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear I'm chat with the boys, man so tough, but man's keep walking. Yeah. Just too sharp with the prize, white girls let it tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on the pine, if you want to touch my please use caution. How you going guys? I hope you've enjoyed the build series so far. Behind me, here it is, the whole package ready to go. $170,000. Now we've run the past couple of series, uh, competition giveaways. I think this is gonna be probably my favorite to date, to be honest with you. We've had an amazing reaction. Uh, everybody who's been following us through on Instagram, all the comments that have been coming out on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much. Those comments, everybody watching us, that is the reason why we do this. We're in this unique position that we now have the ability to change someone's life. And if we can change it for the better, for an individual, a couple, a family, the winner of this prize pack, your life is gonna be changed forever. So here we go, come with me. I'm gonna give you a walkthrough one by one on everything that you're gonna get in the prize package. I hope you've got your entries in. If you haven't, hit pause, do it right now. Go straight to the Patriot Games competition giveaway segment. We'll put a link up here. Enter, come back, grab a beer, and I'm going to run you through everything that we're giving away for this season of Patriot Games. Alright, so I'm going to do this, I think, a little bit differently. I was going to, we were just about to jump over here and we're going to talk through this, but you know what? We want to keep you here. We want to run you through the whole stuff. So come with me first. We're probably going to go from the smallest uh, prizes that you're going to get right up to the largest. Now, it's worthwhile noting everything that we are giving away in the competition giveaway, as always, as the whole Patriot Games brand has been built, it is only through gear that you see us use on the show and only from suppliers that we have the relationship with in the gear and we trust it, we use it, we know it. So all of this stuff kind of just happens off the cuff. So starting here, uh, two G-Shock watches. You know, right throughout my whole life, uh, G-Shock watch has, has been, that's just part of, it's, I suppose it's part of my character. RM William boots, RM Williams belt, G-Shock watch. If you ever see me here at Patriot Campus, those three items wouldn't be missing, except for a day like today when I'm in shorts and sneakers, yeah? And normally I'll do that when I'm up here working with the boys. But anyway, back to the point. The range of G-Shocks that are available right throughout the market, there is a G-Shock for everybody. Uh, for me personally, it's normally Mudmasters um, that I'll rock. So there's two G-Shock watches there. Uh, we'll move into the next, DeWalt tools. Um, you'll see probably, especially throughout all of the build series, uh, DeWalt tools is another brand um, that we've kind of gone from the tooling, I suppose, when it comes to, you think tools, you think drills and whatever, right through to the camping equipment. Electric chainsaw, uh, if you go back to the Land Cruiser Park episode, I've done a little bit of a run through on electric chainsaw, completely converted. If you carry a petrol chainsaw, you live in 1940, dude. <laughs> yeah. We actually, last time we went out, we raced, I'm not gonna say what brand it was, or what two show <laughs> yeah. guy I had, remember we had That's the race right. with that? Yeah. And that yep. thing flogged it, yeah, electric fine. chainsaw but only DeWalt, that's, that's the only one to get. Well, I've run my whole life two-stroke uh, chainsaws and anybody who uses a chainsaw as regularly as I do, you know all the issues. You know the thing will never start when you want it to start. You know you're gonna run out of oil at some stage. There is just so many problems associated with them and the torque that comes out of these things here, um, you cannot beat it, I'm completely converted. I'll never carry a petrol chainsaw with me ever again. Uh, one of these DeWalt lights, they're in the back, you will see them right throughout all of the series uh, of Patriot Games. We normally run now in our convoy, we'll run about four of those stand-up lights with all the DeWalt products, um, and especially when it comes to the XR products, all the batteries are universal. So they'll go from your grinder to your drill, into your chainsaw, and into your light there as well. So many different situations, campsite cooking, uh, repairing cars at night. There's so many situations where we've used them. So that's some of the smaller gear. You would have seen in, I think it was about episode two, uh, Mia bought in the Polaris Ranger 150. Ta-da! Morning! Morning! Keep it coming, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. 
when it comes to kids, um, these are the lifesavers for parents, I'll tell you right now. Your kids will run in one of these things from sun up all the way till sundown. And the good thing is with these little things, you don't need 100 acres to go out and have fun with them. The kids, even in my backyard, you know, I'm only on an acre. The kids used to run around in the Polaris Ranger absolutely all day. Geo fencing, I've spoken about um, in the episode as well when Mia brought that through. Another big game changer. I feel like I'm using game changer a lot here. Um, and normally game changer is the phrase that everybody uses when they talk about their 79. What we've got here is a game changing 79. So I'm not gonna use that phrase again. Stop it, get some help. But uh, the geo fencing, getting back to it, uh, for parents, it's peace of mind. You know, if your kids get out of sight, you can't say them. You've got the geo fencing uh, app, so you can ensure that the, the vehicle will shut down and you've got control of them. Couple of helmets in the back there as well um, for the kids. Now let's get down to the next step in the prize package. And obviously one of my babies, uh, something I'm extremely proud of, uh, the Patriot Campers X1N. <laughs> So, just work with me here. We've got the Dometic tent. Um, we're gonna show you guys uh, through some footage on how the Dometic electric tent opens. Uh, this is a product now that we're, we're actually, there's a lot of them that are, that are going out of the factory now. The X1N specifically is, fundamentally it's a Patriot X1. It is exactly the same as a Patriot X1. It just doesn't have the integrated tent. It's got an XO rack system on top, a platform system on top, so you can put on there whatever you want. The big advantage with that is, and the reason that we developed the X1, and it goes right back to the start where Patriot Camp has started, I wanted the versatility if I was going on a big touring trip with the family that we could have a full-size rooftop tent. But if I was going out on a trip for the weekend with just the boys, I just wanted to put swags on top. So it gives you that versatility that depending on the weekend that you're going out for, or as your family evolves, your kids get older and they won't sleep in the tent with you, that you can really combat that by putting on top of the platform anything that you like. Um, a couple of options, upfits that we've done uh, on this. Uh, Mickey Thompson ties, uh, you know, right from the start of Patriot Games, we've been rocking Mickey Thompson's. Um, we've started playing around with some other brands of ties. The new MUX that we built for Bobby, we've got the Toyos on there. Um, we're trying another brand of ties on, on one of the trucks at the moment, but we kind of just keep coming back um, to the Mickeys. They just work. Um, construction wise, Patriot campers are 100% manufactured here in Australia. Um, yes, there are components from overseas that cannot be manufactured here in Australia, but right from the flat sheet metal processing all the way through to powder coating, we do everything in-house outside of the walls of this facility that you see us in right here. So all the staff are right next door, production line's pumping, and uh, we're keeping it proudly Australian made. Uh, Red Arc inverter, 350 watt inverter, uh, is featured um, in the X1N. Hot water system, uh, gas hot water system is featured in there as well. It's sitting on Cruise Master suspension, fully independent on airbags as well. So the airbags give you the ability to level the trailer. Gas bottle holders, storage are in here. Of course, Max Tracks. You cannot go touring without a pair of Max Tracks. Watch right throughout Patriot Games. There's so many different situations that the Max Tracks can get you out of. They come in handy for so many things even outside of flat out using them as recovery boards. Uh, you would have seen in the latest episode in the, the six by six going up camp road, what we use the Max Tracks for just to get it off the bank. He's got to try and ride the bank up. You're going to have to try and go, 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 try and go. That's it, try and go, yep, keep going, 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 keep going. Go, 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 go. Pretty sure that's not what they were designed for. I don't know, maybe they were and I, I missed it in the brochure. If they could have been. Uh, we've got a DO35 fully articulating hitch. Uh, all Patriot campers sit on a hot dip galvanized chassis. So there's no products or no materials used in a, in a Patriot camper or a limit, very limited amount that are actually corrosive. Um, we'll have a quick look at the kitchen. Uh, inside, all the standard kind of Patriot campers features. Twin burner stove, uh, which slides out here on a slide. Uh, you've got your pantry drawers. There's LED lights right throughout um, every compartment. 
Manager 30 uh, controls uh, all of your inputs of charge and then obviously all your outputs to all of it, your lighting and any other uh, power that's required right throughout. Obviously takes solar input, it'll charge off DC power off your car, so when you hook it up to the D-Max over there, the trailer's gonna be charging while you're driving or you've got a 240 volt input if you're at a caravan park. But for me personally, the 240 volt, that's for when the, the camper is stored at home. You keep it on charge. Um, airbag controls are right here as well, and like I said, you can level them side to side. Now, the kitchen, you see throughout all of Sarah's cooking escapades, maybe the most recently one, there's those, um, the, the chicken fajita things that, that she made with Steve. I think Steve learnt some new skills that weekend. So we might be pulling Steve off the trophy truck real soon and uh, putting him into the, uh, the cooking role for, uh, to serve all the staff here at Patriot Campers. He's over there. Yeah, his little, his little ears just, just freaked up. We'll leave him out of this episode. He's got a truck to build. Dometic CFX3, 55 litre fridge. Tell me another portable fridge that is on the market right now that has an inbuilt ice machine. So if you like Jack Daniels, which I've got to say that I don't not enjoy Jack Daniels when I'm out camping, you've got these little ice trays here. Um, this thing will not make, well, it doesn't make water, it makes ice. You fill them with water, put them in there, makes ice. Uh, Dometic fridges, again, been using them forever and today. I know the fridge thing is so subjective. Everybody's got their own brands, um, but obviously for me, uh, it's the Dometic. Controlled by App Now as well, which I've said in a few loading up videos, the app might seem a little bit gimmicky, but if you've ever been on a big touring trip, Let's say, for example, you've been up the development road, you're heading up to Cape York, you've had a big day in the saddle, you've run eight hours the whole day, you've got your, your fridge full, you pull up at night to camp, and your plug's rattled loose, and everything inside there is stinking hot, then you will not find the app so gimmicky. If the fridge goes under a certain uh, temperature while you're driving, the app on your phone will go, ding, get something wrong with your fridge. Stop your car, get out, have a look. I can guarantee you nine times out of 10, it will always be the cigarette style socket that will let you down. Uh, as a rule of thumb, anything that we fit here at Patriot Campers with a fridge, we will always connect with an Anderson plug. So there's a free little tip for everyone. Uh, on the back, on the rear tire swing away, you got a full size spare. Now in the back here of the Patriot X1, the rear table was actually designed this way to fold down. So you can pull up a couple of uh, camp chairs. If you're out on the road, quick uh, roadside meal, this is the perfect place uh, for it. All of the bench tops in all Patriot campers are all stainless steel um, and they're a food grade scratch resistant. So there's, there is a method behind every material that is used right throughout Patriot campers. Massive storage area in the back. Again, that was specifically designed for all of that bulky stuff that you nev never have anywhere to put camp chairs, you know, folding tables. Um, when before folding solar blankets were a thing, we used to have the big mono crystalline panels and you never had any camper trailer anywhere to put them. So that's why we designed that. Rear drawers, they've got dividers in there. You can see all the standard stuff that kind of comes with the Patriot X1, but that's about the back of it. Now, well, I think that's the quickest run through I've ever given on a Patriot uh, X1. If you want more information, go to the Patriot Campers uh, website find out which is the best model suited to you. Let's get into the big prize. And I think the reason why everybody's here, let's go and have a look at the D-Max. Here it is, the all new D-Max. And like I said before, I think this is the reason why most people have tuned in. Now we gave away a D-Max last year, but we gave away last year's model D-Max. Uh, I've said it right throughout the build episode. This thing now, the D-Max, specifically I mean by this thing, they have taken it to a whole nother level. This thing now is, honestly, this is the best value dual cab ute uh, on the market in Australia. Hands down, I think there is no two ways about it. Obviously, in my opinion. So. Stay with me, let's start at the front, we'll finish up at the back, um, and we'll go right throughout all of the products that we fitted um, through the series. Now when it comes to a touring car, there is, look, we get the question asked so many times, and even through the Super Tourer builds, I see a lot of people spending a lot more money on a touring vehicle um, than they actually have to. Now yes, I'm definitely one of them. You're gonna throw it in the comments. I know we're gonna get some comments on the black truck or the six x six, but that's all part and parcel of what we do. 
we test all the products that we use, we build everything um, you know, to the, the highest level that we possibly can. But when it comes to you know, people, friends, uh, family, even customers coming and asking me, what are the things I need to go touring? I don't have an unlimited budget, what do I need? So when it comes to um, off-road protection, a bull bar is definitely a must. It's one of those things that you just have to have. I've had many trips over my life um, that have gone pear-shaped uh, by animal strikes, and that's the number one thing that you put a bull bar on for. We kind of went down the path, I think when we built the 6x6 and we went with a hoopless bull bar, we actually copped a lot of flack at that time. Everybody was carrying on, oh, well, you got no hoops on your bull bar. Look, at the end of the day, if you smash a headlight, that is not going to stop you um, from getting to your next destination. But the look of a hoopless bull bar um, you really can't, you can't compare them to a hoop bull bar. They really suit modern day vehicles a lot better. Now this company, Off-Road Animal, uh, I've seen it, had to have it. There was nothing else that I wanted to look at. We've gone with this bull bar and I'm absolutely wrapped with it. Got the accessory points uh, on the top. X-Ray 220 uh, LEDs, what else? You know Patriot Games, you know me. There is no other brand of light that I think I've used in the past five years. They work, they're, they're amazing quality. I've had some big animal strikes with them, I've punched them through trees, and I've never, I've never broken one. I've never had one of these lights go out. Quad optic technology in the front of um, the LEDs is what makes X-Ray X-Ray. We've got uh, also a small little light bar, I think it's about a 20 inch light bar that comes with the off-road animal bull bar for the D-Max as well, but you can change that out for whatever you want. We've gone with the GME whip. Again, what else? Quality wise, can't beat them all in black, big spring, they just, they look the goods, they function, they you know, GME is just, um, the, that's the brand for me. We've gone with an Ironman winch, it's a 12,000 pound winch. I know Ironman has got an amazing name here in Australia uh, right now. So that's about the front of the car. Now moving up the side, um, I'm a big fan of OE accessories, you know, if you can buy OE accessories, so original equipment from the manufacturer, you know that that product's been designed to work with that car. There are a billion different snorkels out on the market, but I did auction up um, the Azuzu snorkel. Obviously, it's been tested. Uh, you've got no issues when it comes to warranty. Um, so where you can, if you've got the option for original equipment, when you buy a brand new car, I would suggest, based on your own taste and style that you're looking for, that you stick with it. You saw Steve install this. Not a job I would recommend uh, to anybody who doesn't have the skills. Personally, I would never install a snorkel into a car ever again. I did it once, I made a mess of it, and it cost me a lot of money, so I'll never do it again. So I'll leave that to Steve and Dave. Those types of jobs. Pcore wheels. Um, so we've got the Pcore uh, 17 by 9 inch rims. Pcore wheels were developed and they're all about getting maximum uh, offset, maximum legal offset here in Australia. You can only go plus 50 over standard. Um, so the Pcore wheels, jump onto the website, have a look if we've got a wheel available um, for your specific vehicle. They're also 1,500 kilo load rated. So if you're doing a GVM upgrade, really important that you have a, a, the right suited wheel load rating, which all peak or wheels uh, are rated at that 1,500 kilos. We've got a Mickey Thompson MTZ. Typically speaking, if you were gonna use this as a daily driver, I'd go with an all-terrain uh, tire. But when you go on touring, mud terrain, definitely can't beat them. They're just under a 33 inch. They're like a 32.8. I may as well talk about suspension actually while we're standing here. Uh, so obviously we do have the Ironman Foam Cell Pros fitted to this with the kit for the all new D-Max. Two big advantages that I really see there. They've got a coil over in the front, which means the front is height adjustable and you can adjust the spring rate as well if you want that on the coil over. The other big thing that they've got there, they've got a forged upper control arm. So the upper control arm is helping to correct the steering geometry uh, when you lift the car up, but it's gonna be a little bit stronger than the factory um, sheet metal one as well. Moving down the side, um, we actually optioned when I bought the D-Max, we also optioned on, I'm not sure exactly what they call them, but they're the premium sidestep. So if you're looking at buying a new D-Max, you, you'll notice that these sidesteps are different. When I was going through the catalog and I was selecting you know, the options that I wanted, like the snorkel and even the factory roof racks, uh, we kept them on there as well. I did select the, the premium or whatever they call it, uh, sidestep, check them out. They just look really clean, look heaps cooler, um, and I think that they fit in the, within the look of the car. Now jumping in the interior, who doesn't like brand new stuff? See that? Brand, I actually just got asked the question, do you want me to take that key off? No, I would, see me, I would leave my keys looking like that for as long as I can so I still feel like I've just picked up a brand new car. 
a little bit weird on that. And my kids do exactly the same thing. My kids are the type that if they buy something new, you know, like a whatever electronic where it has the plastic film over the top, they will keep that plastic film on there for years and years until I eventually walk in and see it and I peel it off. And it kind of upsets them. Don't tell me that, don't tell me any of you other parents aren't a little bit sadistic like that as well. It happens. Um, let's get back to the D-Max. I did take this thing out for a sneaky drive last weekend and I've got to tell you, um, the engine, the driveline package in this is nothing like the old one. This all new engine, it just feels better. It's more responsive, it's quieter. Uh, the transmission shifts better. Everything about this thing is better than the last model. But the interior is where they have just got it right. You know, the steering wheel, um, the new um, screen, I think it's a nine inch screen, all the soft touch buttons, everything is where you would expect it to be. This thing now is just, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. So for that reason, we haven't put in any money into the interior. The only modifications that we've made is we've installed uh, the GME XRS, i would say it every time I talk about it, watch our loading up video where I go into detail about what the XRS is all about. Uh, GMA, and you can tell from what I said before, really proud of that company as an Australian manufacturer. How do you reinvent the wheel when it comes to a UHF? A UHF is for the purpose of communication, right? They've done that with XRS. And I think if you don't have XRS in your truck now, you're just, you're just behind the times, you know? We put that out the way. Again, if you're gonna be using it as a daily, it doesn't need to be right in your way. And the only other thing that we've added is the Red Arc Tow Pro, um, again, for, uh, for towing the Patriot X1. If you don't know much about the Tow Pro, check out our loading up video on that as well. As a brake controller, another, uh, another reinvention of the wheel. You know, old brake controllers were these big stupid looking things with big sliding buttons for emergency brakes and you had to dial them up and dial them down. This thing now is just set and forget, plug your trailer in. It pretty much does everything for you or you can override and set your braking with it and it's, it, it just looks factory. It sits in there factory. Um, so that's about it for the interior. Uh, back seat, standard kind of dual cab. You're not going to get uh, the back seat in a dual cab ute like you, you would get in a, in a full size wagon. Um, so that's kind of, you got to take that into consideration when you're looking at, at buying a car. For a younger family, uh, ultimately perfect. For me now with the twins, you know, cheering the whole family in the dual cab, that's the reason why we take uh, two trucks with us now because it just doesn't work for us anymore. Now the Pecor tray, another one of the babies. Now this is, this is a prototype design. Uh, by the time this launches, or very shortly after, this new tray is going to be available uh, to all of our Pecor customers. Pecor products are manufactured very, very similar to Patriot Campers. They utilize all the same technology. We design every single tray specifically for the vehicle that we fit it to. We'll go into the canopy in a sec. Let's talk about the first thing when it comes to the Pecor uh, trays. The first thing is the aesthetic styling. You know, it kind of all came back from way back in the day when I chopped my first 200 series and I went to put a standard steel tray on it and I just couldn't do it to myself. So we rallied up a couple of the design team, engineers here at Patriot Campers, and we came up with a concept of a, a tray body that really suited the styling of the car. Now that team has evolved this into, again, a, into a whole nother level, you know? We really follow the contour of every single vehicle, uh, that body blend, um, the fascias uh, that the boys are putting uh, into those designs are really making them an integrated part uh, of the car. And that's where I think Pecor stands out um, ahead of all of its competition. Water tanks, they're running at 85 litres now off the top of my head. Might have to correct that with a graphic. 85 litre water tank is built into every single peak or tray. There's an electric water pump, obviously, so you can pump the water out the back. This is where you fill the water from. On the opposite side is where your fuel or diesel filler is. Um, standard, they come with lights on the headboard. So you've got a light on either side of the headboards and then you've got a light over the back, which is kind of made redundant uh, with the canopy being fitted um, to this one. Five minutes later. Oh, I did get something wrong. See that? There you go. So it's not redundant. Steve's moved it to the back of the canopy. Good on you, Steve. That's why you're my man, Steve. To do things without even being asked or told. He just, he knows exactly what you want. Is he still over? He is still over there. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. You're my boy, Bluey. Blue, you're my boy! Thank you, sir. Um, so they're an x-ray product as well. Um, moving to the back, um, you've got big toolboxes on either side. Um, the toolboxes are not IP rated, so we don't recommend putting in very, very valuable gear in the back there. Um, but anything like recovery gear or whatever else that you want to put um, into the back of those toolboxes. 
um, they give you a lot of storage options. Now, on the bed of the tray, um, they're all extruded aluminium. Uh, there is a range of accessories. Uh, we can put cargo rails for tie downs on there. Um, or we or obviously every tray comes with fold down sides as well. So if you're not running a canopy, um, you have three kind of conventional fold down sides that are all contoured to match that body as well. Um, so that's all part of the look. Toolbox angles at the back are very unique um, to PCOR um, and they give you maximum departure angle. Uh, so you've got less damage of impact, you know, if you're going up a big rock ledge or a climb or dropping down into something um, that you're not going to damage uh, the body of your tray. Canopy. Now this is our standard half canopy with electrics. You can buy these straight off the shelf and they will go on to any, uh, any bed. Uh, they're 1850 wide and this is an 1850 tray. But this one here is optioned up with the electronics package. We also make a slightly narrower version, which we call the dog box, which has ventilated fronts on it. Fundamentally, it's, it's, just a, it's really just a box uh, and it's got a centre divider as well. So you can run uh, two dogs in the back and, and keep them uh, separated or cats or chickens or, or whatever you want to carry with you. Look at all those chickens. Um, you've got a big slide out drawer, massive slide out drawer that you can use for whatever you like. Um, inside this compartment here, uh, standard fitted with one 135 amp hour gel battery and then we have an option to upgrade uh, to lithium batteries as well. I think we can fit now 200 amp hours or one 200 amp hour uh, lithium battery. Confirm all of those specs, there's, there's a lot of stuff that we do now and it's hard for this brain to try and keep up with every single part number and every product that we have. Not like the early days when we only had one or two products. Something else really proud of and really unique to the PCOR canopies. Again, when you're touring in a truck specifically on your own, the biggest pain in the ass thing that you carry with you is a camp chair. That's end of story. There's never anywhere to put them. You don't want to put them outside because if it rains and then you're going through dust and mud and whatever, there's nothing worse than getting to a campsite and your chair is just covered in junk and you can't sit on it. So we developed this right in the, in the, in the first days. Little slide down here, that will fit in three pretty much any collapsible chair. So any uh, kind of collapsible camp chair that, you know, where the four legs kind of fold up together, you can put three of them along side by side. If you're not using that, um, you just close that off and um, that's that done. Now coming to the electronics. The electronics, um, again, all Red Arc gear. Back, I think, when we first started putting electronics into canopies, it wasn't very common, wasn't as common as it is now. There are only a few companies that were doing it and now it's become really mainstream. So again, in this canopy, we are running a Red Arc Manager 30, which is exactly the same as what I just showed you in the uh, X1N that will control absolutely everything. Um, you also have some cigarette outputs, USB outputs, uh, your light switches uh, are on here as well, a couple of USBs, there's a solar input, there's a dimmer here for your lights, and all of your fuses in one location. There is no fuses in the peak or canopy that are hidden outside of anywhere. If something goes wrong when you're out on a trip, you pop a fuse and something's happening, there is only one place to look, and then you've got your three main uh, resettable breakers at the top. So very, very easy to use, um, and the functionality of everything is, is where the peak or designs come from. Now, that's about it from the canopy. We fitted the spare underneath uh, the back of this vehicle. If you can't, you have options on the back of the PCOR canopy. You actually have multiple options when it comes to the PCOR canopy. There's a series of holes in the back there and there's a few different options there for different accessory holders. Uh, again, we'll leave that up to whoever, um, whoever wins this prize pack, whatever they want to carry on the back. If they want to put two spares, jerry can holders or whatever they like, they've still got a bit of platform for room here um, at the back. Rear drawer, massive storage rear drawer at the back here. Absolutely huge. Put in there whatever you want. Everybody is different. You can't have too much storage uh, on a touring truck. Um, we've obviously got an Anderson plug fitted to the back of this. So you can, uh, you can charge your trailer um, once your X1 is hooked up to the back of this. That's all going to be charging. Rear end wise, probably the only thing to talk about is, and I forgot to mention it before, the all new D-Max now comes standard with a rear locker. Standard, That's you get one with a rear locker. When I was driving it the other day, there's other features that are that kind of come into it as well. You've got, it's got autonomous braking in it, uh, lane departure control. It's just the, everything that they've done that they've created in this standard kind of package, again, I think makes it the best value for money. 
Um, one option that we do have, we haven't fitted to this, is you can option in the drop down uh, fridge slide um, here as well. You can run up to a 65 litre Dometic um, in a fridge slide here, but because this is a package and we expect that the winner is going to be towing the X1, there's only one fridge in the back, but you can option in the second one. Um, you do have a water level gauge there as well. I'm puffed. I told you to go, I hope you got a beer. I told you to get a beer. You've probably had 25 beers now. I get excited about this stuff, obviously. I love what I do. I, I feel so privileged to be put in this position to change somebody's whole world um, and have the ability to give this away. Uh, massive shout out goes out, I think number one to Dave and Steve um, for all of the effort that they've put in um, to help change someone's life. The team here at Patriot Campers, obviously my family, most of all our fans, the guys that are sitting there, guys and girls that are sitting there watching this, um, we, we love what we do, we enjoy what we do, and we're so privileged to be able to, um, to do what we're doing here now. Get online, enter the competition. You saw it last year, you saw it the year before. Somebody will win this. There is no smoke screens and mirrors. Somebody is gonna drive away with this entire package. And that is our thank you to everybody who watches the series. Uh, stay tuned, I think the next update that's gonna come through is the lucky winners driving out the driveway of Patriot HQ with $170,000 of the best touring gear in the country. Good luck.